Jeez, that is quite bright. I stood it because I thought, well, I'll get nice lighting. Look all cute, but I'm just squinting, aren't I? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. That blinding ball of gas, not rock, because we've been here before, definitely gas, is so lovely to have out. Look! We have had the worst weather the last few days, like so windy, rainy, just completely gross. And then this morning, as if by magic, we've got this stunning weather. So we're going to make sure we utilize that today. And I'm finally going to be unpackaging and jumping my brand new poly jumps, which you can see here. I will go into more detail and tell you about the colors. Mm, that was a bit wet um, when I unpacked them in the school, but basically it's going to be really fun. So I'm going to jump all three of the ponies, Jemmy here, eagerly waiting. And because they are, as you can see here, like little wings and also skinny poles, I thought I would do simulated cross country. So I'm going to set up some like fake cross country fences basically to practice in the school obviously we've been on lockdown haven't been cross country schooling and we've now kind of bojo's giving us like a little bit of freedom man well, no that's a complete lie bojo's basically giving us some dates when we're going to be able to go out which has got me all hyped up so i figured why not practice some cross country stuff in the school and also horse and country is in t minus three days so I thought I better jump these ponies because I might have to jump, I might have to jump one with there. Top secret, top secret. Alrighty, I'm going to lug these into the school and we'll get jumping. Yay! Okay, all the jumps in. Small disclaimer, as I said, we've had really bad weather. So these have gotten wet and like all the water had gone beneath the plastic. And I picked them up and poured them down myself. So if anyone thinks I've wet myself, I haven't today, it's just the jumps, all right. I will, of course, let you guys know if I ever have wet myself, but today, just the jump water. Right, I'm gonna go find Hobbit and I'm gonna unpackage these little beauties and then figure out where to put them i'm thinking like maybe some some little like kind of like an arrowhead maybe some corners i was even thinking of making a pretend ditch to jump but i'm using bear so i'm just like oh. i just really value my life and don't ever want to do that right do you know what yolo yolo i'm gonna make a fake ditch <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do this in a minute. I mean, I've never done this. I just had an epiphany when I couldn't sleep last night when I'm battling my insomnia. No wonder why I can't sleep because I'm thinking about jumping bear over pure feed bags. Um, Hobbit's meant to be coming out, so I'm just waiting. Never rush a Hobbit. They're like gremlins. Don't feed them after midnight. Don't get them wet and do not rush them. Oh, here she comes. Hey, Daddy! Get a face, oh for goodness sake. <laughs> so they're going out, it's like first, well not first thing in the morning anymore, but we decided not to turn them out this morning so I could film this in the morning when it's glorious sunshine. So they go out in this little paddock here and the arena is just here. So Bear's probably just gonna stand and watch us and panic about what she's gonna have to do today. Also, actually I forgot to say, I'm wearing my Think Goose top Aww. with my lovely ponies on. Okay, right, so. Let's get into these poly jumps. I actually broke my nice poly jump tool the other day when I was trying to hack into a wheelbarrow. So I'm going to use scissors, which is less than ideal. But hopefully we'll make it work. Oh, Oh my God, there is nothing better than getting new jumps. For anyone that doesn't know, I mean, you probably all do know, I'm a sponsored rider for poly jumps. So these were very, very kindly gifted to me extremely lucky girl this is honestly what dreams are made of okay right oh i need to cut more don't i so this is the navy these colors here are the heritage set colors so navy burgundy and white 
so classy. Yeah, very smart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the first poly jump is free. Welcome to your new home, little buddy. You're gonna cause some trouble with Bear. The plan is to make some cross-country-like fences, is it? Yeah, mm -hmm. Oof. simulated cross-country. Seen as Bojo and let us out. Yeah. Oh, 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 you've upset Bear. It's all right, Bear. <laughs> Please don't jump me. Just put me in fall like you promised. I think she nearly jumped that fence. <sighs> I'm going to time lapse the rest. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless Right, you guys look me square in the eye, square in these baby blues and try telling me that those are not the most beautiful colours for jumps in the world, all right? Don't agree with me? Say it, say it now. Say it now to your computer, say it out. Say, I don't think those are the most beautiful colours in the world. Right, what do you know? You're talking to a computer screen. Oh, I'm so pleased with these, these are insane. Look how beautiful, so. Just to clarify, a bit of learning with Meg, we got the burgundy, we got the white, and we got the navy. Heritage set, if you head over to the Poly Jump website, you can get these colours in all the different wings. You can see all my Poly Jump wings out there. Um, so yeah, they come in all the wings, all the poles. I've gone for these skinny poles, like I said before, to basically practice skinny jumps out competing, because I don't practice them enough, and they kind of scare me a bit. Like when I walk a course, and I see an arrowhead, like I get heart palpitations. So hopefully with these, won't get them anymore, mum. Oh, you're striped young lady. That's stripey, that there. A little bit of stripage. <laughs> right, I'm gonna set these up. I might just do a time-lapse on my phone, even though it's very naughty, because I've got a nice camera, but it's easy to do on my phone. And then we'll talk you through what we've created, okay? Okay, all set up. I'm gonna quickly show you guys my ditch idea that I've not actually tried, so may or may not work. So the plan is to make two incisions at the bottom of your feed or bedding or potato bag, whatever you got lying around at home, like kind of pole whip. Come on, mum, how are the people gonna see all the way back there, you lazy toad? <laughs> Look at that. I, I think that's too big, but anyway. And then you get your poles. Could you, take, you, the, could you take the string off? In a minute, I'm excited. You just slot them through. See, told you it's too big. Yeah, but I want it a bit big. Like, otherwise I'm it's like trying to thread a needle, mum. <laughs> in a rush. <laughs> slot that through there. And hey, presto, there's your ditch. Right. Get rid of the string for the Hobbit. Oh. Pulled out like a charm again, Mum. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, and there's the piece of paper on the front. Piece of what on the front? Oh. What's that? Okay. Right, we have one. I don't think Bear's gonna like I this. I don't think Bear's gonna like this. I'm kind of thinking maybe Bear doesn't need to jump today. <laughs> we do our second one. We make the incisions slightly smaller so Mum doesn't shout at me. That's better. Well, I am roasty, toasty pudding and pie. Yeah, it's very warm for February. Is, do we need what a, way is best to go in? The same way? Do we need or? a third feed bag? I, this one. I know, but I kind of wanted it so like, 
they can sort of jump around it a bit, mainly for bear's sake. Oh, okay, right, this is where you have a bit of an issue. We need another pair of hands. Hey! Okay, so you're going to wedge your two feed bags together. Oh, Megan! <laughs> right, the wings are actually in the way for the minute. And you just spread them like that. Fill them with water. <laughs> How am I going <laughs> to fill bags with three holes in with water? I meant the dip bits, but anyway, no, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> okay, well, I would quite like Maybe to Maybe we just need a water tray. <laughs> yeah, no, this is for people that don't have a water tray. We haven't got a water tray. It's just wedge these bad boys in here, just stretch them like that. <laughs> Just so they're gonna real, really stay in place. Okay, right. We have made our beautiful simulated cross country course. It's actually quite tricky, quite technical. Mm, starting to think that maybe Bear could do the day off today. Anyway, I'm going to show you around. Now, let's start with my fake ditch. So I've got my feed bags there reflecting beautifully in the sun, just like a ditch full of water would. Now, we decided in the end just to get a wooden fence post to post through that side, um, because otherwise we couldn't get the poles to like sit nicely apart with the wings. So we've got a ground line, a little pole on top like a trochaner, which we can, you know, lower to get them over the first time. What I quite like to do is I like to give them a little bit so they know they're jumping. So I'll probably go like that. So they know it's a jump, so they're not gonna tread in the feed bags because they'll poop their pants if they do. Round here, we have a nice skinny corner. So it's gonna be quite tricky because there's not a lot of space coming off of the corner round the turn there. Um, but luckily it's not too big. So we're more working on like technical elements today rather than big things. So nice corner there. I've just got my one block at the edge, at the end, sorry. And then these two here, and you can obviously adjust the width like so. Over here, we have my old, I say old, they're not old, are they? But my, uh, I mean, I've got to say old for lack of a better word, but they really are not old, um, poly jump blocks. So those, I've just pushed down to this kind of V just to replicate, like, you know, when you get funny jumps out cross country, like shark teeth and stuff like that. So, I mean, you could put another two either side just to make it really wiggly. So it's obviously, it is tiny, but it's a bit of a sort of eyesore for the horse, you know, a bit of an optical illusion for them. Round here, I've just got a straightforward little skinny with the poles and the beautiful colours. So nice and easy. This one is kind of just for warming them up and also to be part of a related distance when I'm ready, if I'm not too scared. Again, we've got the 20 by 40 arena, so we are coming off the turn quite quickly to this. And then my best creation, or the one I'm like most pleased with, is our false arrowhead. So... Here we have the little burgundy block in front and then we've got the bigger blocks to the side and basically just making a sort of arrowhead effect. It's obviously narrow in front, then we've got the poles leading up to the side and yeah, there's like a bit of depth of field as all the uh, professional photographers will love to hear me say. So if I give you a little side profile there, you can see like a little kind of spread and we can whack that pole up to the top when we're ready. This is actually quite a question like, that is probably, I mean, narrowness wise, that's probably like a um, a novice arrowhead, but obviously the height, like it's not as big and wide as a novice fence, but amazing to be able to practice that kind of technical fence in your arena at home, like so, so handy. So really, really pleased with all of these. I'm gonna go and grab Dee Dee now and start with her. Fingers crossed for me guys. Where are my fingers? There they are. Where do you look at that? Absolute. 10 out of 10 of a specimen. Hello, Boo. What are you doing later tonight? Do you come here often? Grrr. Wearing our stunning Gallop and Glory saddle pad there. Beautiful pony. I've just sent poor Mumsy back to get me some overreach boots. <laughs> so I'm going to pop those on and then we'll hop on and get warming up. Dee Dee, any last words? Okay. <laughs> T-shirt weather! Wearing my horse mates Money Mare t-shirt. These t-shirts are really good because when you buy them, they donate money to the RDA guys. So definitely go and check out check out Muddy Mare. 
Hi. You're a muddy mare, aren't you? You ready for this, Dee Dee? Okay, that's, <laughs> that is kind of rude, Dee. <laughs> and when you were five and I told you you're not allowed to do that, both reins. I've made a little skinny crossbow. I'm dry, I throw it out, opening my mouth, galloping. <laughs> Morning guys, welcome to Sid's Fox. Oh goodly, she'll be quiet. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, we'll start over this. I'm revived from the dead, out of some water. I'm going to jump on a little crossbow. Good luck. Thanks man. This is going to be a tight turn, isn't it? Not for landing on the wrong lead, though. That's naughty. Ah, ah. She's so good at looking for the best. She is. I mean, as tricky as it is in a 20 by 40, it is like, it's good because it puts you on difficult turns, which is what we do need to be ready for. That's true. She's going to be fun on Sunday. these bad boys up. So scary. Hang on, I need to jump these other little <laughs> ones first. Right, I'll do the corner and then we'll do the arrowhead because I feel like the arrowhead's the most difficult. Oh, she said that was a bit different, Mum. I know we are going to try to circle of the earth session. You, why didn't you call? I like to think that that was just fine. Okay. By, <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't. About you, about you all the time. Well done. Good girl. She's like, this is so easy. We could gallop. Why didn't you call? Round and round and round. <laughs> Tell them what you said about circles. I said it's perfectly acceptable to put in circles, especially whilst you're training. I'm not bad mouthing my circles, guys. 
Mum said I could do it. Uh, you weren't paying attention. Right, Beaver, start that again. nails in the old noggin like Dee's you're gonna have a fall <laughs> luckily Dee's got about eight legs so somehow she figures it out at breakneck speeds when you're not even looking at the jump Dee you are a monkey anyway pleased with the session but I actually think for Dee it's best to stop now because we're getting faster and faster and uh, these kind of exercises because they come up so quickly off of the turns you've kind of not got much choice but to be quite you know what am I looking for? Gung-ho. Gung-ho, a bit of rock and roll with it all. So, oh, has been fab. I mean, she found that easy peasy. She's always been one to look for the flags. So, pleased with that. Let's crack Out on with the next one. Good. Yes, let's get jam. Yeah, see how it goes. Well done, Dee Dee. Good girl. Well done, Mix. Sexy pony number two, please. I know people have an absolute nightmare <laughs> trying to tell Dee and Jam apart. Funny story, mum went to get Dee in the other day and accidentally got Jam. So it's not just you guys, but she's going to hate me for saying that, but she's currently gone to the toilet. So jammy has got her gorgeous Horse Quest saddle pad on and her lovely PS of Sweden bridle. And like, the enthusiasm is just, I mean, the camera can hardly contain it. Oh, there we go. You're so pretty. Right, Jamie, we'll pop these down and simplify them a little bit for you because you're a baba. But first, let's warm up. Yum, yum, yum. So here we have pony number two. Little Jamie. I may have just told you a little secret of how you went to get D in the other day and you accidentally got down. <laughs> oh, I think it's because Jam was wearing Dee's rug. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And unusually, she was the one that came hooning over. Yeah, that is true, normally. Normally, Jam doesn't really bother. So, and it was blowing a gale, and I couldn't see anything because my fringe was over my eyes. Blowing a gale, so my eyes didn't work. <laughs> my hair was blowing over it. And I basically just put head collar automatically on the first grey mare that hooned over. And put her in the table. Yeah, and then I looked and thought, actually, you're not me. <laughs> An easy mistake. Anybody can make it. So we've simplified things a little bit. Hobbs, would you be able to explain? Yes, of course. So we've gone back to a cross pole. Um, I have actually pulled it out slightly. I could pull it out a little bit more to make it wider if needed, but I think Jam will be all right. Um, the arrowhead, I've pushed the block in, lowered the top rail, and um, widened the sort of two side poles to hopefully make it easier for Jammy to read. Um, I've dropped the pole onto the, trocana, the floor. We're calling it. The trocana, okay, <laughs> on the, the ditch fence. Yeah. <laughs> the trocana. And the uh, corner. I've made more narrow. Could put all these things on their side, but yeah, we'll I see. Think we'll be alright with that. We think we'll be alright. We'll I see. Who knows? We could make it smaller and um, more blocky, more corner-like even. Let's see. 
Right, I'm all warmed up. Super duper. I'm getting so roasty toasty. So, so nice to have some sunshine. Guys. I'm getting all embarrassed. Right. It's not about you. Cross pole. It's about the, it's about I mean, the fences. It's kind, of, it's kind of my channel, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Your mum to ground you. Wow. Good girly. Uh, Well done. That's <laughs> really not as much practice as Skinny because she's only done B90. Sorry, I'm really stopped that. I don't know about that. Wait. That's why we had to wait, wasn't it? When I take a pull, she struggles to sit on her hock. So she kind of just bites and goes up a little bit. Well done. Good girl. That was nice. I'm going to trot over this blue one because that's a bit spooky. She says, no, we don't do trotting. Woo! <laughs> I think that was a Friday fail. <laughs> she says, bye, I'm getting excited. <laughs> oh, good girl. That. She didn't really look at it. Woo! Good girl. Lovely. Good girl. Sorry, that was completely. Ah. Good girl for jumping. Well Came done. Came off the turn and I was like, right. We're running D, she's gonna fire, we're gonna run a great stride. <laughs> and then Jam just sat there, I was like, ooh, ooh, need to go. Better. Good girl. Well done, you. Well done. Okay, right, I'm clearly seeing that I need to work on landing on the right lead with my horses. Both of them are landing on the wrong lead. Ooh. No. Spoke, on. spoke too soon. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Good girl. What a little legend. She's so right, clever. I'll do a circle and then go into my little course, I think. Well done. Good, wasn't Other than she? That one little thing there, like she's been so rideable over questions yeah. she's never seen before. Yeah, no, that's brilliant. So, yeah, I mean, gosh. Obviously, guys, Jam can jump bigger than this, but really is not worth it. Like when we're teaching her new technical things, I want her to leave this arena being like, that was so easy. Like I'm so good at doing that. So that when she sees it on a cross country course, she's like, oh, these are really easy. Like I've done all this before, rather than be like, let's put them up. And I think, oh, like it got a bit tricky. So I'm going to leave it there. She's found it super duper easy, been really good. Tested a little noggin and yeah, so rideable and nice. Yeah. Really, Gosh, really And pleased. that's the most important thing, isn't it? That she's exactly. listening to you and trying. And she did both those exactly. things. Okay, pony number three. Bear. <laughs> she is wearing her stunning Pure Feed Company saddle pad. And yeah, I mean, she's just assessing, assessing the situation now, isn't she? She done the appy. 
I think that's a no. If I don't look at them, I won't have to jump them. Oh, God, Ted, do you know what? As much as I'm going to miss jumping you at the same time, I'm going to love not having the pressure <laughs> of having to bring you down here and jump scary jumps. <laughs> She's like, oh. They don't even look that out of the ordinary, to be fair. No. So okay, anyone Ted. who doesn't know Bear, where have you been? Yeah. But she is an 11-year-old pony, and she does suffer from the illness of being a Welsh pony, meaning she's incredibly spooky. Incredibly talented, incredibly spooky. Come on then, Bean. Good girl. No, please, mummy, please, no. <laughs> oh, pssst. Okay. I'm gonna put them down one, because I think they're galloping length, and we all know Bear might do a big jump. I'm hoping, because it's a lovely, stunning, warm day, Bear's gonna channel those lovely, chilled vibes. And we're just gonna be really good. And have fun. Have so much fun, Bear. Be a good pony. <laughs> just no. Other than, yeah, like you said, other than the arrowhead and the ditch. And the funny blue filler thing. Look, Jamie's just come in here and she's not even seven and she's jumped around really sweetly. This is great. Why don't you do it on Jam again then? <laughs> Is that why, have you, why have you put my dinner bags on the floor? Oh, we've got a cat. cat. Hi, Frodo. Do you want me to put this down to baby? Yes, please. Hi, Frods. Good boy. Come to help. Yeah. Frodo wants his own channel. Be a pussy cat on the vlog. Come yeah. on, look at me. <laughs> look what clever things I could do. Good boy. Another cat, oh goodness sake. And like, oh, we didn't realise we were jumping today, Meg. Stroking the cat at the same time. Oh! He knocked it down, Frodes. Touched the wing! Right. Well done, because I was riding like a melon, wasn't I? Wow! Good girl! Good. Goodness sake. Did you expect you for goodness sake me? You saw what happened. She wants to. <laughs> no, maybe she doesn't want to do that. Good girl, Teddy. That was naughty. No. Why is it any different this way? Good girl. Well Such an honest, bold pony, this one, guys. Like. <laughs> Can't wait to take her fall. <laughs> Hopefully they'll have 70 centimetre classes by then. Good, well done. Look, see, not 
Good girl. Right, I might put the pole on the floor for the bag one. I mean, I don't know, but some I think makes it better for them to read when they've actually like got something to go over rather than, I don't know if treading on it, because she'll, you know. Believe me, she won't tread on it. <laughs> I mean, if you think Bear's gonna tread on that? Mom, <laughs> please, I need some reassurance. <laughs> right, all right, here. well I'll leave it like that then. <laughs> Oh, we can put it down one, maybe. Just okay. not completely on the floor. Next strap. Come on, Teddy. Good girl. It's fine. It's lovely. Good girl. There we go. No worries. Good. Well done, you, Ted. Try that. I've just had a good look at it. The other way. Uh, hang on, Mum. <laughs> I was like, that wasn't interesting enough. Do it the other way. Let me hang the bag from the top of the pole. Yeah. Good girl. Well done, you. See, load of fuss about nothing. Well done. Oh. Good, Bear. What a good pony you're being. Good girl. Oh, sorry. I need a bit more panther. Hard on a really tight turn, though. Good girl. Wow, we. Good what girl. a good girl. Oh, well done. <laughs> well done. I think we should do that again because I don't know how much you're meant to be actually jumping over. No, no, no. All right. <laughs> so I still don't like that one. Even though it's my new. That one, this is my arch nemesis. <laughs> good girl. Good and I remembered to tell you what way we're going on landing. Well done, Maggie. Well done, Teddy! See, bit of a pep talk from Mum. You're good too. Oh, clever Teddy. So much fun. It's purring, guys. It's not Mum. She's holding the cat. I'm holding the cat, so. Oh, I, I lost my stride. That's all right. Don't worry. I can't see you because the sun's in the wrong place. and they're just an absolute angel in others because I don't think I got on the right stride to any one of those fences. <laughs> she was a very good girl, wasn't she? She's puffing quite a lot now, as am I. Mum's in a rush to get off and paint her nails, so I'll walk her off and then turn her out and I'll debrief with you guys up in the field. Sounds like a good, good plan. Girl. Say bye bye to Frodo. <laughs> <sighs> Just walking Teddy up the track now to go out in the field. Dee Dee's already out, nice and naked, being oh so brave. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's so warm and yes, they've got to be ready for horse and country on Sunday. Someone's strumming this head, so if Bear suddenly exits that way, you'll know why. Um, yeah, they've got to be ready to go to horse and country, but it's such a lovely day and I love them getting a bit of sun on their backs. like because it's so, like the days are so few and far between like this in February. So yes, I'm being brave, putting them out naked. And I mean, looking at Dee now, she's already rolled, but they're gonna have to have a bath anyway. So who cares? Good girl, hang on, I've got a carrot for you. Hang on. <laughs> oh, good girl, Bear. So literally could not be happier with her. 
I mean, it sounds silly, isn't it? Because she's 11 and she's gone B100, so those things shouldn't have been a problem, like they weren't for Dee Dee. But for Bear, they were quite scary and also quite confusing, like they were hard to read. Yeah, so they're quite hard to read, um, and I was expecting her to just be like, mm mm, mm, -mm no, senorita, not doing that, but. You were actually amazing. You had one little naughty rear. Um, but I think because I like made her just go after that, she was a bit like, oh, mum means business to do. Good girl. So yeah, really, really pleased. Are you gonna go and have a roll or are you gonna be good? Okay, right, well, I'm gonna have to get another bit of carrot for jam now. Jammy stayed in while I jumped bear because always bear gets upset because she thinks she's missing out on fun things. Mm, great. Well, I mean, she did earn that, but <laughs> the regret is uh, very real. Last pony, and it does feel borderline criminal to turn out a beautiful, clean, grey pony in the mud, naked. Nope, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Um, apologies. <laughs> what a sweaty look over here. You're gorgeous. Nice little drinky woo. Oh, look at that backwash. <laughs> Lucky uh, Dean there. Hey, Jam Jam. today and there we have it the end of today's vlog I'm literally so happy with how all of them went I mean starting with Dee Dee you were fabulous Dee um, albeit a little bit whizzy but you just completely knew what I was asking of you she's like mum literally leave me alone you're so embarrassing um, yeah I mean Dee was just fab wasn't she she was very speedy but she did not second guess any of that so really really pleased with her and then a moustache what do you think basically got one anyway so maybe i should grow her out uh moving on to jamma lama bama spam bam bam which is her show name <laughs> obviously not uh jam melted my heart you were just so good like she's never seen anything like that he says it's mummy mummy i want to talk now have a groom? No, obviously Dee's going to bite Jam and then get annoyed at Jam. Maketh sense, just like me. Uh, yeah, so Jam's never seen any of those questions before and she was an absolute angel, like so good. So much more rideable as well, because obviously I do have the, the problems with her chucking her head up in the air. Um, but she was really coming back, sitting on her hocks. That break has just done her the world of good. So very, very excited for 2021 with Jam. Feels like 2020 didn't even happen, doesn't it? Finally, little Teddington. Hello, my darling. I mean, okay, yes, Bear should have 
We should have just expected an 11 year old bee hundred pony to jump around, no problem. But it's Bear, she's very spooky, she finds things difficult to read, she gets worried, she over jumps. And what a little angel she was, like so good, so much better than I was expecting, considering how she behaved with that plank the other day. So the most recent one that you saw Bear jumping, the plank one, if you've not seen it, go and watch it, because it's funny. Bear was an absolute loony bin. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting her to go over a lot of those things today. But you did, because you're the bestest pony ever. So I'm going to go in, I need to pop on my tack away because it was like, boom, 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 military operation to get that all done this morning. And then go in, do some editing. It's nice to have all my riding done. Fabulous. So yes, thank you very much for watching. Say bye ponies. Oh, I thought you were gonna do a last roll then, Jammy. No, no last roll. Yeah, thank you for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the scene of lovely naked ponies behind me. And make sure you come back soon because I think the next vlog is going to be my horse and country one. So you can see what it's all about. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. You know I've got that aim of getting to 100,000 subscribers this year. And it's still, it's very much in the distance it doesn't it doesn't really feel tangible yet it doesn't feel like i can achieve it but we'll see so if you could hit the subscribe button it does really really help me out i live laugh love you i do say that ironically for people that get annoyed okay bye sorry guys but millie's come over and it would have been rude to not say hello Look at these lovely ponies. Um, people keep asking me about the Millie vlog. I promise it's coming. I promise it's coming. Hey, 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 monster. Hello, Dorito. You're having a nice day in the sunshine. Looks you. like you're changing and all. Ah, right, ponies. Mama's gonna go eat something. <laughs>